shrimp rolls. So to start off with, I have some cooked shrimp. You can buy shrimp from the store or you can follow my method for how to get perfectly cooked shrimp every time. Pretty lovely. Uh, anyways, I've got just under a pound of some shrimp we cooked off here. I've chopped up most of it. I'm gonna show you a really quick method for how to um, chop this up for the shrimp roll just so it is a little bit less chewy and snappy. So you can totally avoid this. You can just chop it up however you'd like depending on how much effort you wanna put in. But you're just gonna take the shrimp essentially, you need a sharp knife, and you're going to come in and split it lengthwise right across the middle so you have two shrimps repeat with all the other shrimps ta-da and then from there you just go ahead and chop it up into bite-sized pieces that will fit perfectly in a shrimp roll the goal of this is really to just help break down some of the connective tissue so you get a nice tender bite all right i'm gonna take all of our shrimp here pop it into a bowl To mix up your shrimp roll filling, we have our chopped shrimp. I have some finely diced jalapeno, some green onion, some cayenne, salt and pepper, and mayonnaise. If you're not a fan of spice, you can ditch the jalapeno and do some green bell pepper, some celery, but the cayenne especially just really takes it to another level. So we're gonna start with part of our mayonnaise. This is about a third of a cup. And we'll just use a little bit and start to mix that in and see where we're at. Get it partially mixed, add the rest of the shit jalapeno add about half your green onion save some for garnish a little dash of cayenne touch of salt pepper Boom. mix it up makes just a wonderful sound doesn't it give it a taste touch more of anything you think it needs in this case, a wee bit of salt, and just a touch more of cayenne. Cool, that's ready to go. It's time to go griddle the roll. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and toast our rolls. Uh, you should pan a little bit of butter. This was the uh, OG roll I was going to use, but as Tony pointed out, <laughs> it looks like someone sat on it. So we're just gonna get rid of that. Um, this is just a hoagie roll. If you live on the East Coast, which I dearly love, um, you can find top split rolls like this a lot more easy. Or you can use just a hot dog roll and do it sideways. But hoagie works as well. So pan on to a medium high heat and let it get hot for a minute. When your pan is hot or close enough, you're going to want to get some melted butter. Smear it on the edges. I shaved a little bit off the sides of this hoagie roll with a serrated knife so that you can get a nice brown, crispy, buttery, luscious edge, which is the ultimate goal of everything that I live for. And plop it on the hot pan. And then just don't move it, let it sit there. Would also not recommend microwaving the butter for a full minute. It will explode in the microwave that you just cleaned. So we're just gonna sit here, let this roll brown, you're caramelizing the sugars. And the key here is to not fuss with it because if you start fussing with it, the sugars don't caramelize and you get impatient, the roll doesn't brown, and then you're further and further away from a shrimp roll, which is the whole goal of this. Nope, don't fuss with it. So if you start to see smoke coming up like this, your pan's a little hot, turn it down, check the roll. Excellent. I'd like to see a little more brown here, but sometimes you just get brown around the edges and that too is fine. Flip it over, let the other side go. You can kind of encourage it to flatten a little bit so that you get a nice even layer for it to brown on. Ah, uh, look at that. That's what we're going for. Our pan wasn't quite hot enough for the first side, so we'll just show it's a good side. Got the nice brown across there. It's perfect. It's crispy. It's wonderful. That's it. Turn your pan off. We're going to go ahead and stuff this roll. All right, so we have our beautifully griddled roll, which I must confess is not the same roll that you just watched me griddle because I forgot to turn my mic on and then we ate it before we realized it. This is the second roll. We have our shrimp filling, we have our butter grilled roll, and it's time to stuff it. I usually just give a shallow cut to these because you can always pull it open if you need to. And you just encourage the filling on in there. It's 
sometimes it takes a little convincing. Sit. Alrighty. There. Garnish it with a little green onion. And voila, you have your butter grilled shrimp roll.